Look at the status of Himalayan towns, ugly and bad. Look at our alpine towns, glowing and shining. Indians are not grand at winter sports as well. Well, actually, James, if you look at Himalayan towns, they are not that ugly. If you go to the Himalayan parts of India, at least there you have a sparser population density, lower population density, and the towns are in a better shape compared to the metropolitan parts of India. And and some parts in the some some in parts of the Indian Himalayas are really picturesque, really pretty. So obviously you can't compare Indian Himalayan towns with uh, let's say Appenzell or the Valais region of Switzerland or the Alpine parts of Europe, definitely because those are first world countries, and we still are quite around that, right? But things are improving. Um, and there's tremendous natural beauty in the Indian Himalayas. The Indian Himalayas are, are very different from the Alps in Europe. The Alps, if you visit, the mountains look tame. The mountains look tame. You come to the Himalayas, the mountains look wild, untamed, rugged. Nothing tame about the Himalayas. Right? Very different character. But I, I know what you mean. We're not talking about the natural beauty here. We're talking about the situation, the way the towns, cities, etc. are maintained. And obviously there's a disparity between India and Europe, India and the West. And that is something we Indians have to acknowledge. But I, I think, I'm pretty sure things are improving. If you go to, for example, Ladakh, if you go to Leh, and then now you have a new airport coming up in Leh. I hope it would have become operational or would be on the verge of becoming operational and you can see progress you can see development all of that happening in india so it's not like we are just sitting where we are we are making progress and eventually next 20 years things will be very different so i appreciate you james for pointing out these uh, these uh, situations and uh, yeah i appreciate you sir